Uh, thank you, thank you, TJ. Uh, no colleagues who are not in a funeral or memorial service. Not at all. So I think we must not forget that. Uh, sport in general, and boxing in particular, is basically about fun and enjoyment. Mm. So today's program and uh, the, the program to follow the, the whole of this week, it's all about enjoying ourselves more than the message that Ujobe was talking about. Uh, greetings to our program director. Thank you very much, program director, for the opportunity. Let me then greet uh, uh, our uh, dignitaries, uh, the acting HOD from uh, KZN DSEC, uh, the DDG from the same department, uh, Dr. Spoon, uh, the acting CEO, uh, Ojobe, as commonly known, uh, Umama, uh, that I worked with for, for a long time, Mrs. Sandile, uh, Gamalin, uh, and then uh, Osi Sansi. I know Osi Sansi from a distance uh, when, he was, uh, when she was uh, hosting tournaments whilst Obaba Usangwen was still around. Yes, uh, and then let me then uh, greet the media uh, present, uh, the Sanabo uh, Secretary General, who's also uh, amongst uh, the, the guests, uh, Sanabo Administrator, BSA officials, and everyone uh, present. Uh, good afternoon. Sanbona. Uh, so, Sanabo. This of challenge we part 18. Uh, early this year, we have signed a memorandum of understanding with Boxing South Africa. And part of the memorandum of understanding dictates that everywhere uh, Boxing South Africa goes, we have to be there. And every project and campaign that uh, is initiated by Boxing South Africa the South African National Boxing Organization, uh, commonly known as SANABO, must be part of that program. And this uh, testifies uh, what we have agreed on in February 2022. So I just want to start by thanking the acting CEO, uh, BSA board, uh, for, for this initiative. Yeah. Mine is, is very simple, colleagues. It's just a message of support. But I can't just give a message of support having not uh, provided the background of why Sanabo is here and why Sanabo has been afforded this uh, important uh, uh, place in this, in this, in this gathering. Uh, let us then look at the campaign. It says, count me in. I must indicate that I'm standing here being delegated by the, the Sanabo Women Commission. I've been asked by Sanabo Women Commission to come and represent Sanabo here. Uh, the chairperson of the Women Commission could not come. We wanted her to be here so that she would be the one delivering uh, the message of support. But program director, allow me to extend uh, an apology on her behalf uh, for missing the show, but I must indicate that uh, she has made an undertaking uh, to join us during the course of the week and probably she would be part of the road shows that are going to happen. And in that way, I want to relate to you that Sanabo is, has a, a women commission. And the women commission is not only at a national level. We've got women commission in all provinces. And as why in Wazulu Natal, I am proud to say we've got a vibrant and active women commission that is driving women affairs in Wazulu Natal. And I want to uh, indicate to Uma Musfunda and Uma Mundlovu uh, that our women, as they drive women affairs, but they also drive the development in various corners of Wazulu Natal. And I want to thank you, as Ubabu Jobe was, was uh, extending appreciation and no, 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 no program director. Program director, I want to simplify your call. You, 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 adopt. you don't need to be adopted. Wazulu Natal is a 
Sister, this table well. I could learn again. We are covered. I would think the process is not over. So you look, it's a good learning to learn better after after the show. But Mama, I want to declare to the media that our survival as boxing is heavily dependent on government support. Without your contribution, we are doomed to fail. We are nothing, particularly we as Sanabo. Sanabo deals with development. We don't get paid for delivering our services, not even a cent. Uh, all of us, starting from me as the president of the National Federation down to a boxer uh, that is coming from uh, a Guavuma or wherever uh, that you may think of. But we are delivering this based on passion. And through the funds or the grant that you allocated to Guazulu Natal, we are able to produce future stars, as we have done recently with Upiwo Bukhemungun. <laughs> Upiwo, for those who are, may not be familiar, has recently brought, oh, for starters, she broke the record. Uh, in the history of the country, in the Commonwealth, we've never brought a medal in boxing through a female. And therefore, she is the first female boxer who brought a medal to the country. And I must indicate, or, or I must share with you, colleagues, Uguti, OPO is not the only female corner, was Natan or, or corner in the country. There are many females as a corner, as a as a as a boxing. Utu Gujobe, he role Sanabo is to go underground, uncover and discover the hidden talent. Yeah. And we are not going to uncover and discover the hidden talent a pavilion. Mm. Yeah. We are going to uncover and discover through the Maro shows Ujobe that are in the pipeline by going to a king Etuayo raise awareness about e-boxing. Yeah. And there's this perception of what e-boxing is a dangerous sport. Yeah. I must indicate, colleagues, that you know, e-boxing e is one of the safest sports or sporting codes compared to other sport codes. I may not mention other codes, but where I'm working, I work with different sport codes. And when you compare, you'll find that the rules or the technical rules governing the sport of boxing protects the athletes more than any other code. So I want us, particularly from the government sector and Boma was founder, when you find the platform, uh, to advocate for the return of boxing back to school. Mm. Because when, when we visit the other countries as we, as we uh, navigate the, the entire world, you will find that one of the fundamentals that we are missing as a country is a breakthrough at a young age. We are not tapping uh, the, the, the correct talent at the right time. You will find that we meet boxers at the age, I'm making an example, at the age of 15, 16, 17, whereas other countries, they start developing the talent from the age of eight. But we are failing because the regulatory framework is a barrier to boxing development. And we are making a call, as we have made it with the National Sport Portfolio Committee, we've also made it uh, with the National Minister, uh, um, Tertua, that that regulatory framework needs to be eliminated. And we are saying, and we are advocating for, for this, Mamus Fonda, that whenever you find a platform, please assist us uh, to eliminate this barrier because as we are partnered with Boxing South Africa, Boxing South Africa is dependent on us to produce for them. But if there is no fine product coming out of Sanabo, BSA is not going to produce anything because the role of BSA is not to produce. It is our role. But if we are stopped from entering or penetrating into the schools, how are we going to, 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 to develop? And at the same time, we don't have resources and also infrastructure to develop. But the schools have got what we need. The schools have got the human capital in the form of learners, human capital in the form of teachers, as well as the infrastructure in the form of classrooms and halls that we need the most. And they are located where we are staying. Our children don't have to pay money uh, to go to the training uh, gym uh, because the school is in their vicinity. So we are making a call. 
But at the same time, as I am providing a message of support, we are saying, we are responding to government call, that uh, our government is advocating for transformation. And part of transformation, it's about women representation at all levels. Levels I'm referring to uh, playing as well as administration. And when you look here uh, at the front, I'm happy that uh, it's, it's 4-2. Yeah. Yeah, which is a good score. <laughs> which is a good score. Uh, so you can count us in, as the slogan says, count us in. But in terms of transformation, we're saying, who government pump the funds to us as their agency to advance the transformation. Because the government knows that they can't reach uh, everywhere or all sectors of the society. But we as a sport federation, we are able to assist uh, them in achieving that objective. Hence the reason why they are funding. And we remain committed, uh, Mamus Funda and, and, and Babu Jobe, on advancing women's uh, agenda uh, at all costs. Because without them, we can not have a we can Oh yes, yes. But as Usa Nabo, as we we provide the message of support, we are saying, count us in in the campaign. We are we are here today. We are going to be part of the campaign until uh, the last day, and we fully support. Amanina, Etinomuti Abe, Nene Boxing, and Mangaba Oza Musa Nabo Championship. There's not even a single Sanabo Championship that does not have uh, women. And uh, our national team is made up of 12 uh, males and 12 females, which speaks to what we are saying. So in a nutshell, we are saying we fully supported the campaign. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so so much. But I am not going to be able to do this. I am not going to so sitike unchuke na bokabe funu balo count them in and hashtag the channel hashtag hashtag count me in hashtag count us in kwenze basi kube together sitata manguendi suape kise pambi inga kumba manguendi aliwanga bafas give it up for utatumu kwelo mukwalo all.